Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> I know I've been gone for a really long time. I um, was away in Washington for a wedding and when I got back I did feel under the weather um, probably because I don't usually, um, I'm not usually around that many people as much as I've been the past um, couple of days when I was in Washington, you know, being on the plane and being in a wedding. Um, the wedding had about 150 people, um, guests, and so um, I'm just, I don't usually surround myself with that many people uh, during, you know, every day um, just because I am chronically ill. But, um, so when I got back, I was under the weather. I did wear a mask on the plane as well as, um, in the airport, but, um, it was very cold up there, you guys. It was about 50 degrees and rainy, so, um, it was very pretty. There were two days we got of sunshine, but most of the time was gloomy, but, um, and the sun... Uh, you know, it could be gloomy in the morning, but their sun comes out, you know, here it's gloomy in the morning. It comes out around, you know, like noon or even by 10, you know, it's sunny. Um, over there, the gloom lasts practically all day till about 2 or 3 p.m. So, um, yeah, so it was very pretty when it was sunny. And even though it was rainy, it was still very, very pretty. Um, it reminded me of, well, I know that you, or some of you guys who watch Twilight, um, I don't know if you know, but, uh, Forks is in Washington. And so, um, when I was going there, I was really excited to see the scenery of like Twilight. Um, so it was just, and it, it I would tease my husband that it was Twilight weather, <laughs> um, because, you know, it's gloomy, dark, and cloudy, and just rainy, so, um, that was exciting, an exciting little trip, it was way too short, we went from Thursday through, um, Monday, and so, now, um, you know, I'm back in the swing of things, finally, because it took me a whole week to recover, um, from my little cold, and just from being so fatigued, um, and yeah so right now i have a quick dollar tree haul to show you but before i do that i also wanted to i had a, a giveaway um from my video of um judy's ugly paper swap um and so i did have a winner from that video who i forgot to announce and I want to go ahead and announce it now. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but this is what I made from the ugly paper swap. Um, just a little notebook, a travel notebook, um, with some pockets and some, um, journal cards in it. And then, this, these are the pockets here. And then, um, some inserts in there oh this got stapled on but um then i made a little giant um pocket where you could um i put in this cute little journal card and because it reminded me of fall give her that and then I just put everything and then like a tea pocket to get some tea and I put that in the pocket as well and I'm also gifting a little something as well to the person who won and the person who won is Veronica from Christie's Crazy Crafty Life I will link her channel below. Veronica is also a very good friend. And so um, if you haven't had a chance to check out her channel, please check her out. She does great hauls and just shares a bunch of great things and um, her little projects. So check out Veronica from Christie's Crazy Crafty Life. And congratulations, Veronica. Thank you for entering my hidden giveaway for that. 
Um, I will also link Miss Judy, who hosted the Ugly Paper Swap, and Sue, who I received the paper from. So, oh, not this paper. This is actually from Liana, but Sue, I received the Ugly Paper from, who I made the pocket, um, the mini tea envelope, and the journal. So, I will give that to Veronica. Um... I did a Dollar Tree haul, so they do have Christmas out now. I was excited. Um, I wanted to get some of this um, pom-pom trim, so I don't have red and I don't have white, or I have white, but only the minis, um, so I wanted some big ones to um, do, like, when you do um, tag flips or um, to tie things with. I wanted to use this as one of the um, like trims or ribbon that um, that um, you can tie with or gift with. Um, I did get some of these um, necklaces because I'm probably going to wear one to work for Halloween. Um, we don't really dress up for Halloween, so I'm probably just going to do that. And then um, the others, so um, it was... I believe it was mommy and her four little ladies who used it to tie her little um, gift around for a strap. So I thought that was a really great idea and I'm going to use this as well to tie um, a Halloween swap that I'm working on right now. Um, I bought a lot of Halloween, you guys, because I went to the Dollar Tree in Washington because, um, I don't know if you guys know, but different Dollar Trees carry different things. And I was happy to find things that I don't find at my Dollar Tree. Um, I did find these foam letters, which I thought was really cute. They're foam alpha stickers, so it comes in orange, yellow, green, and pink. Um, so obviously we could use the orange for Halloween. And then um, you can use the pink for Halloween also. Uh, Christmas for the green or St. Patty's Day and then yellow for like any time but they did have these leathers that I thought was so neat um, show you guys. I think that's it yeah so they did have these Halloween leathers um, which I am going to use to make some bows with because you can use this through a die cut machine um, with your dies. So I thought that was really, really neat um, and something I don't, didn't find at my Dollar Tree here in California. So once again, these are from the Dollar Tree in Washington. So um, if you're from there or near that area, I would check out your Dollar Tree for some of that. I wonder if they're going to come out with some Christmas ones. Then I did find some stickers there. I didn't find it my Dollar Tree. Some Halloween stickers. Um, so, sorry for the rocking guys. So I did find some of these cute ghosty stickers. I think these are so cute. And some um, these ones. I just got that really for the Happy Halloween and the letters. I don't really care too much for the other ones. Um, but I love the ghosts in this one. I think they're so adorable. Um, and I'm also missing some... I didn't really get too much ephemera with my Halloween um, paper that I got. So I didn't want to... Um, I wanted to get the ghosts to kind of supplement... Uh, ephemera for my Halloween. I did get the Fabulous um, collection by Simple Stories. So I also picked up some pink uh, pearl flatbacks. These are different to me. Um, the one that Dollar Tree used to sell or Crafter Square, they were like larger sheets. I actually like the smaller sheets. I don't have this soft pink color, so I thought that would be great. Um, they also had some tulle um, I don't really, I've never caught the tool there before. This is plain. It doesn't have the snow. So, um, I got the pink tool. It's just, 
it's three yards. So it's not much, but just enough to make a shaker, a couple shakers. Um, I did get this little, um, it's a light up, um, like ornament thing, but I got it to package some things in it for my swap. Uh, I thought I could gift her some little things in there and give it to her. So, and then she can use it for decor later. Um, I didn't pull off the tab so that she can use that. Again, that's the Dollar Tree in um, the Dollar Tree in Washington. Then I got some pistachios. These are the salt and pepper ones. If you've never tried them, you should. Just a little snack for me. I did get um, some of these Wet n Wild um, lip crayons. Uh, just because fast and easy for um, work every day. I thought that was, well, it's new and neat for me. And then I love the neutral colors. I got a neutral and I also got like a berry color, a mauve. So snatched and deep love. So I can't wait to try those for a buck. That's a deal. Um, I did also get, once again, this is the Dollar Tree in Washington. This is a great deal. I got some gold flakes, which I know that you guys know are very expensive. And so um, I bought myself one to craft with and one as a gift for someone. Um, she makes cards and I thought about her. So I'm gonna give that to her because I'm sure she can use this in her crafting. Um, I bought these large um, kind of like tags to, cause I am participating in a swap with, um, not a swap, an open collab with um, Tag Temper for, uh, that's hosted by Poochie. And I haven't made my last video because I was out of town, but in my last video, I wanted to make a giant tag. So um, that's what I bought these for. Hopefully, um, I get to make that today and finish up my Tag Timber videos. I did also get um, so sorry you guys. Um, I did also get super cute. I did also get um, this little, these little ghosties. Um, actually, they're not for decor. I got them to stick up so I could put one as on my little giant tag that I'm making. Um, so hopefully it works out, my plan for it. Um, see, like. I just thought of gluing that there and making that giant tag. So, yeah. <laughs> That's my plan. Um, and then for these other ghosts, I will probably use in my swap that I'm participating in that I'm making something for. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and that covers my Dollar Tree haul, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Congratulations again to Veronica who won my hidden giveaway. Um, you'll be seeing this in the mail pretty soon. I will be going to the post office this week. Um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy Sunday, and I wish you guys a good rest of the week. Thanks, friends. Bye.